she is hilarious. Please give it up for the very funny, saucy Pepper E. before we were married. You know, how rude, right? And I thought, I don't want to give him a double-digit answer. So I decided I would calculate the number of partners I had by subtracting. For instance, if there was somebody, a person, and I didn't know his name, he didn't know my name, that didn't count, right? Subtract. If I was drunk or high, the dude was drunk or high, didn't count. If I had a boyfriend somewhere, he had a girlfriend somewhere, couldn't count. And if I didn't have an orgasm, would not count. So I said, sweetie, there was nobody else. Was only one. I learned the hard way because I came out before and I had the bottle cap on and then I was so nervous like I spilled it all over. So now it's off. I worked so hard on this material that my computer crashed. I needed help, but I couldn't recall those responses to those stupid security questions. So I made up my own and I'll never forget these answers. One, what's the name of the first dog you put to sleep? Uh, two, when did you become addicted to Vicodin? And three, what's the name of the first priest who molested you? Uh, and you know why I didn't say rabbi? Because my rabbi's standing right sitting right there. Rabbi Reuben! <laughs> So, my mom named me Pepper because our last name's Salter. Pepper Salter. Raise your hand if you've heard a stupider name. She was called Hortense. She's sitting right there, the cute fake blonde. <laughs> 90 plus years old. She was called Hortense, and that's a horrible name. Everybody used to tease her. One kid would say, hey, is that Hortense? And another would say, nah, she looks relaxed to me. <laughs> but why did she give me such a bad name? She explained it's a Jewish tradition for parents to inflict their own suffering onto the next generation. <laughs> Thus, Hortense begat Pepper. Mom's beautiful, and I'm not talking about inner beauty. She knows all about looking good. She once told me a woman's most gorgeous years are between the ages of 18 and 35. She told me this on my 36th birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> so my sweet daddy passed away recently. My friends were worried about me because my mom started dating so soon. I said, what's the big deal? She was dating while they were married. <laughs> but me, I'm a good girl. For years, I ran nonprofit camps for kids with serious illnesses. And then lately, I've been thinking, what the hell am I doing that meaningless crap for? <laughs> I should do something important with my life. Like, let's see, I got a lot of laughs at my dad's funeral. I'm the funniest person in my bereavement group. I'll be a stand-up comic. <laughs> and mom's so proud, she said, screw those sick kids, this is showbiz. <laughs> so I went to a Jewish parochial school, Beverly Hills High. Some of you also went there. <laughs> well, back in the day, we were so innocent. 
Uh, we, we heard phrases, rumors, words about sex, but we knew nothing. We just kips, kissed till our lips bled. Still, for grad night, I was going to make my boyfriend happy. So we went up to Mulholland, got in the back seat of his car. He unzipped his pants and took out his private part, which I would not touch. It was just throbbing. But this is what I did to make my boyfriend happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. I've got high school friends here who will verify. <laughs> so my poor boyfriend, he started crying and he took me home. Things perked up in college. I got a Catholic uh, boyfriend. Any Catholics here? John? You? Yeah. Okay, so this guy taught me all about sex. He said it was okay for him to receive oral sex from me. But it was against the Catholic religion to perform oral sex on me. Is that true? That's right. So, okay. <laughs> so I was screwed twice. <laughs> Way to go, John. <laughs> um, anyway, I got my own apartment in college. I was standing out on my balcony one day and I saw somebody pull up and park, and it was a really cute guy, and I said, Hey, come on up to number seven. It was Berkeley in the 60s. That's the way we did things. So he came on up, and I said, come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Take off your shirt. Take off your shorts. And he did. And then I said, come on over here and let me hold your private part. And he came over, and then I said, don't park in my parking space. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. So, for my first husband, I decided to try a Jew. I heard they were great. Things were perfect through the ceremony and the reception. But then it started to go south. I wanted to call him honey. He wanted me to call him a goddamn loser till I'd remind him of his mother. Oh, it was exhausting, so we divorced. But first, I accidentally got pregnant by him five times. <laughs> Then I met Joe the Gentile. There he is. <laughs> he didn't notice the kids, so I didn't mention them. <laughs> we got married. <laughs> he just did not. We got married. <laughs> and had two more kids. Raising seven children is no picnic. I'm envious of my smart friends. Let me see. Oh, yeah, some of them are here. Only had two children because they could strangle them at the same time. <laughs> My six sons were impossible and intrusive. Two of them, and I forget their names, but uh, they, they got booted out of Lutheran youth group for getting hand jobs during self-reflection time. You know, and, and my son, Will, he just nags me. Mom, did you cheat on your first husband? Mom, did you cheat on your second husband? Did you cheat on both husbands? Shut up, Will. But honey, thank you for coming tonight. <laughs> My daughter got the worst of it. Uh, she was one girl with six brothers. Her first full sentence was, don't pee on my leg. No. But she, she came out really good. She's a girl, she's down to earth, she just wants the basics. A house in the Palisades and a Range Rover. <laughs> Go soon. Uh, there's a, a family with seven children, that TV family, the Waltons. You know, they were very sweet. Each episode ended at bedtime. This is what it sounded like. Sweet dreams, John boy. I love you forever, Mama. Sleep tight. Mary Ellen, don't let the bed bugs bite. Here's bedtime at our house. Charlie, where's the booze I hid? Oh, uh, we'll drink it. Sue, what about that weed I bought? Uh, Ken sold it. Ben, you bastard. Matt, how about the Craigslist hooker? Uh, she OD'd in John's room. <laughs> Sweet dreams, kids. Uh, Joe and I love our adult children. We're just wondering when the hell they'll be adults. <laughs> uh, we, we're what, also wondering where we're going to get an empty nest. In the meantime, we've got two sons, one grandson, 
my daughter, her husband, a housekeeper, a pit bull, a dachshund that thinks it's a pit bull, a transgender cat, <laughs> all true, 18 rabbits, five ducks, I take responsibility for the ducks, and uh, random people who sleep everywhere, including on our treadmill, all under our roof. It's terrifying. My friends say, aren't you afraid to do stand-up in front of strangers? And I say, I will do anything to get out of the fucking house. Thank you. She rocks. Give it up for her. Keep it going for this next guy. You are in for a treat. He has been seen on HBO. 